Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video we'll do a structural analysis in Revit. First we'll create a simple model and then we'll add everything we need to add to do the analysis and then we'll do the analysis. So first I'm going to use the structural template because it's best for creating structural models. I'm going to go here to level 2 and let's create a structural slab. So I'm going to go to structure, floor, I'm just going to use this rectangular tool. I'm going to hit UN to change the units to meters. It's easier to work that way. OK. I'm going to put this at 10 meters and this at 12. So we have our structural slab. Now we can only add span direction. So I'm just going to place a line through the center like so and go OK. Now we're going to create some beams. I'm going to go here to beam and I'm going to choose a concrete 300 by 600 millimeter and I'm going to place it not here but a bit on the inside. So I'm going to place it like this and do the same thing over here like that. Now I'm going to align it, go AL and align this to that, lock it in place and align this to that, lock it in place. OK, now let's add some concrete columns. So I'm going to go structure, column, and here we have some columns. Let's use this one for example. Hit space to rotate it. I'm just going to place it on the inside like this and then I'll align it and place it somewhere in this general area and then we'll later we'll align it. Same thing here and here. Okay, now let's align this thing. Or just move it. Select here, move it in place. Same thing with this one. Select this thing, move it in place. Okay, and let's just align these two. Let's say I like the position of this one. I'm just going to go align select the center line, select this, lock it in place. OK, now when we go into 3D view, let's just go into this 3D view, you can see we have pretty much our model is done as far as architectural elements are concerned. And we have these lines over here, these are basically structural lines. So if we go to analytical model, you can see we only have these lines that represent columns and these represent our structural beams and this is our basically this floor slab. I'm just going to go back to 3D. One thing we did not set up, you can see this is concrete, this is concrete, you can see concrete cast in place gray, this one is too, concrete cast in place gray, but this thing doesn't have a material assigned to it. So I'm going to go to edit type, duplicate, let's just call it con for concrete, Let's delete this. OK, edit type and add here concrete cast in place. Cast in place gray. OK, that's this one. OK, OK, OK. We need to add basically materials or we need to assign materials to everything to make sure that the structural analysis can take place. So now that we've done that, we go back to analytical model and we need to add some boundary conditions. So we go to analyze boundary conditions. This is very important. We go for point and fixed and we just place one here, here, here and here. OK, once you've done that, we can add some loads. So I'm going to go loads, hosted area load. So we host basically a load on this floor slab above and let's change its value select it change its value maybe to 3 and if you go minus it will go down if, and if you go plus it will basically push it from below so this is what you want to have okay once we've done that we have pretty much everything to do our analysis so we go to analyze tab we go to analyze in cloud OK, we need to save it. We didn't do everything. So save it on desktop, project for, let's call it project structural. OK, 
okay we've saved it we go to analyze in cloud and now it needs to check everything out so it checks all the elements extracts the model checks the cloud resources verifies the model and now it's uploading the model to Autodesk cloud now we get this menu so we need to choose the type of analysis we go to static analysis profile let's go normal we choose the simple report doesn't really matter self weight just use this one analysis name let's call it let's just leave it everything as is and we hit start so now it's uploaded to Revit structural and here you have this thing that basically tells you when your structural analysis is complete so now it has started maybe select it and here you can see how it's going so we're going to wait for a while okay now you can see this is done and we can hit this message to view the report and it opens up this window and now we have our report so this is analysis and when we scroll down you can see we have all the analysis you can see this is basically a graph so that's pretty much all you get you can download this okay once you're here you have a couple of things you can do you can download this PDF which is basically your report that you can then print out or something that's a bit more interesting you can go back and you have this 3d structure viewer so when you go there it opens up like this you can actually orbit your model and you can select things so let's select this structural beam now we have selected it we can go to moments and now when you select you can see you get basically 3d diagrams of everything you have done so it's quite interesting and it's quite useful okay that's pretty much all you need to know for structural analysis in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe for daily videos like and share this video and leave a comment if you have any suggestions for further videos thank you for watching and have a nice day